Hey everyone, in this lecture, we're going to be doing exercise 1.1.1, which can be found in the textbook, and I'll leave a link in the description. Now, this says that we're going to prove part 3 of proposition 1.1.8, that is, let f be an ordered field and x, y, and z be an f. Prove that if x is less than 0 and y is less than z, then x times y is greater than x times z. Basically, what we're proving is that if we multiply by a negative number, we have to flip the inequality sign. Now, to prove this, the only tools that we get come from the definition of an ordered field. We know that F is an ordered field. And so we need to somehow use these tools to arrive at our conclusion, which is what we're going to be doing. I'm going to start with X is less than zero. Now, since X is a member of this field F, then since F is a field, that means negative X is also in the field. So I can add negative X to both sides of this inequality since negative X is also in F. F is a field. So let's add negative X to both sides. Now we can simplify both the left-hand side and the right-hand side here because X plus negative X, according to the properties of a field, must be zero. And on the right-hand side, if we add zero to any element, it's just what we started with, which is here in negative X. So this says that negative X is greater than zero. So we now have a positive element in our field F. Let's try to get another positive element from our field F. That way we can have two positive numbers to multiply together. So with this inequality, I'm gonna do a very similar trick to what I did earlier, and I'm gonna add negative Y to both sides of this inequality. Now I have to be sure that negative Y is an actual element in the field, but because F is a field, we know that negative Y is also in that field. So I can add negative Y to both sides here. Using the rules of a field, I can simplify the left-hand side to be zero, and the right-hand side is just Z minus Y. And so this means that Z minus Y is greater than zero. So now I want you to notice that we have two numbers, Z minus Y and negative X that are guaranteed to be positive. And so by the second property of an ordered field, if we have two elements in our field that are both greater than zero, that implies that the multiplication of those two elements is also greater than zero. So I can take these two numbers that are greater than zero here in the circles, and I can multiply them together and know that that number is also greater than zero. So this means that negative X times Z minus Y is greater than zero. Now, using the distributive property, we can distribute negative X to get negative XZ plus XY is greater than zero. We're almost done here. Now, we can add, and let me make my arrows here real quick. We can add X times Z to both sides. But before we do that, we need to make sure that X times Z is in the field F. We can't just add whatever we want to both sides of inequality. According to the first property of an ordered field, we have to ensure that Z is also an element in F. Z has to be in F. So why is it that X times Z is an F. Well, F is a field, which means that if you have an element X and an element Z, then the multiplication of those two elements is also in your field F. That's what makes a field a field. So we can rewrite this as negative XZ plus xz plus xy 
is greater than xz. Now I want to mention that I'm skipping some rules here. Technically, I should clarify that 0 plus x times z is x times z according to the definition of a field. Adding 0 to any element doesn't do anything. I also assume that we can just move this xz right here, which is not necessarily true. But that said, I still want to show that negative xz plus xz by definition is 0. plus xy is greater than xz. xy plus 0 is just xy is greater than xz, which is what we were trying to prove. Thanks everyone, and I'll see you in the next video.